So our main right, oh man. Obviously, we can all read, right? If you can't, have someone explain it for you. Oh no, someone left their cart in the handicap access area here. When the cart return is right there, and now someone wants to, well, for any number of things, wants to unload something with a wheelchair, and they want to get in and out. Oh. Whoop, skip, wee, wee, wee. That's not where the carts go. Thank you, sir, by taking your cart back today where it belongs. <sighs> the Lazy Bones Shuriken Magnet. Let's go. Ah, missed. Dang. We'll go Lazy Bones on board then, in the back. Fake out? Nah. Ah, you fell for the fake out. How you doing, guys? Stay out of my car. Uh, sir, what you did is you left your cart right here in the spot where the handicapped folks need to uh, get in and out of their vehicles. Up, man. Sir, why are you not respecting handicapped people? Shut the fuck up. No, sir, that's the point. This is my shit. You want to come that's the point, though, sir. We're right over here, over here, over here. You're halfway there. You're halfway there. Okay. Sir, I'm not going to fight. We're a nonviolent organization. Go to your fucking chair. Shut the fuck up. Sir. Violence and anger are not the answer. Pre fell for the fake out. What an angry lazy bones and a fighty bones. He, he looks pretty quick, but I wouldn't say that he could have caught us. Let's see if he's coming back. No, he's headed out. Um, but it really shows, obviously, lack of character. But it's that's the that's a real. Obviously, it's a bully attitude. It's a... You, talk, you called me out on my laziness. I'm going to hit you and hurt you. And again, by the way, both he and his uh, partner there. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Looks uh, real disabled, too. But, you know, that's not my job. I'm going to do disability catching narcs. <laughs> Would you like a sticker, sir? Just to, just to piss you off. But you see how some people are? You ask? You know, you know that has nothing to do with him, right? You know that has nothing to do with him. Oh, it has everything to do with his ego. Totally. Here's a sticker, sir, if you like it. Thank you for taking your card. All right, don't sweat that at all. Oh, no, no, no. We don't take it personally. But thank you for the kind words, sir. <laughs> uh, what a nice guy. But yeah, the, uh, I'm going to feature but back to, you know, you guys can fill in the blanks. Bullies, jerks. What's the, uh, the old saying? Narketeers, and a lot of people have put this in comments over the years. Some people don't grow up, they just grow old. And that was that guy in his minivan. <laughs> it was weird. He saw the, the shuriken toss, which admittedly landed a little short. And then he fell for the fake out. And then he uh, proved himself to be a lazy bones jerk. Threatening violence and screaming and just yelling, yelling and trying to shut down the conversation because he knew he was wrong. Now, Narketeers, uh, I'm gonna show, walking outside here to show you a little bit of the surrounding areas. This is San Francisco proper, and it's so dark, obviously, because it's in the deck there. Uh, actually, what I'm gonna do, I'd say San Francisco Police Department. There's something going on down the street here that I cannot show you. It's a festival, it's called the Folsom Street Fair, F-O-L-S-O-M. Uh, look it up at your own discretion, but uh, it's very, very adult activities. I can't show you what's going on there, but to give you a little preview of the kind of things you will see at the uh, Folsom Street Fair, if you decide to go. Obviously, that's not what we're here for, where these cart and arcs are here for lawful property protection. And how you doing, sir? And upholding public decency. But, um, how you guys going? Captain America. Uh, you will see that and way more at the Folsom Street Fair, or festival. I don't know what they call it. Anyway, look it up if you're into that sort of thing. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> something you well something you see a lot more in San Francisco than other places. Not the small <laughs> tag, but uh, do not tempt thieves. Do not leave valuables in view. That's uh, I see that a lot, like here, and when I'm doing uh, narking in Oakland and stuff like that. Is there a lot of these signs out in parking lots to uh, let folks know that uh, it just ain't safe. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Why well, there's a sign that says return cards here. Where's he gone? Oh. He was even thinking about curbing it. And he said, nope, full spot block. Hmm, interesting sign. Oh, it's a handicap spot too. Oops, keep sir, sir. 
It's a handicap spot. Huh? It's a handicap spot, not for the carts. What? That's not where the carts go. The carts go right, right over there. Carts. Yes. I help people take their carts back where they belong. Are you YouTube or something? No, no. It's a, a social project. We are on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, etc. Well, not really TikTok, Twitter, the radio, the Woody Show. But uh, yeah, the cart's right behind you there if you want to take it back. Hi, Agent right. Sebastian. Nice to meet you. Unfortunately. Yeah, ah, see, that's no good. You don't want to. I ain't doing that shit. You aren't doing Thank you. What do you mean you're not doing it? <laughs> oh, man. He seems like he's in good spirits. But this is literally, you start to see the outline, the blue outline there. <sighs> you have a Lazy Bones magnet here, sir, but you're getting on the hood. Yes, got it. There's even a line of carts right, well, you really couldn't do that. But again, right in the middle of the handicapped spot. And this guy, <laughs> he's amused by us. Seems to think this is just for uh, social media, which obviously not. It's a common... Sir, you want to reconsider, take your cart back? What are you doing? He's still laughing. We're blocking the handicap spot over here. Come on. You know, you, you know what the right thing... No, it's, it's... You can if you want to. Oh! That is... <laughs> that is our kryptonite narcoteers is when the lazy bones just don't care. So you might say, well, why not put some more magnets on his car? Well, he's got our magnet. He's got the information. Hopefully, I don't even want him to waste his time calling because he's clearly not learning. Let's see what this guy is doing. Oh, found the cart return somehow. But goodness gracious, man. That is, that literally is our kryptonite. And people have mentioned this before, is that if you just don't care about anybody and either laugh us off, ignore us, whatever. I mean, nothing we can do about that. Other than use you as an example of what a dirty old lazy bones is and how a human being shouldn't act. So I'm gonna show you something pretty cool in the karting world. You see, we got this man up here. He's got these carts moving. How's he, how's he guiding all those carts? Well, he's got the motor powder of the cart tractor. Very cool, appreciate that. Will not, do not pass. Yeah, um, cart tractors, very rarely see them used. Obviously, where there's a lot of uh, there's just a lot of space down here. We got several layers stacked in San Francisco. Our longtime narcoteers will recall that they do use cart tractors in uh, Australia when they really don't need to, in my opinion. But they still use them, I guess, because they're Australian. They're cool. Um, but yeah, there's a tight, a lot of tight areas down here. You can push, as you can see, a lot of carts at once. All the other guys guiding them. And the way this particular, you can. Uh, Costco is set up is there's kind of like a windy ramp that gets back up to the entrance there so very cool again just a little uh, a little treat for the uh the cart aficionados out there cart out <laughs>